thing is, of course, bringing all the potential of the floor into a squat, a really primal movement for us, bringing all this energy and learning how to channel and uh, unleash the energy towards the person. So as I said before, this could be really important for blending, for blending. What is blending? It's when I have something so um, ex explicit like this, so explicit, I absolutely know what this, this is. But once I've learned this, like an arrow, this is like an arrow, then I can, I can negotiate something else. But I must learn something very basic and explicit about this in order to make it more artistic. So I'm taking away the artistic side and I'm adding a classic jump into a kick. Right, so once we've done that, I am now bringing that leg in. Ah, why may I do a different? Well, because if I just did that, that is much easier to recover. That is much easier to recover. Even that's easy to recover. But you're building all this powerful energy here and then it's taking wrong there. So your body also has to learn how to bring this energy back in. That's the psychology behind of the kick that I chose. So now the body's bringing the energy back in and then I'm translating this into another movement, which is a hastere. So it's another release. Pa, 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 pa. Now I'm releasing to the hastere and I'm navigating the same energy, but it's now on the floor. So there's another build up, and this is also a choice because it's gonna help me with acrobatic skills. This is halfway into a macaco, guys. It's like tricking you. This is literally tricking you to do things that you sometimes think you cannot do. You just have to get strong on this side. This is about one arm, so I jump. Here I'm linking to a bananera. Why the choice of bananera? This bananera, I'm choosing this bananera the psychology behind, it's because it's such a posture. I'm not just going bananera. It's something so worked, so draft, such a design that you know you have to open your legs. You know, you can see that there's a, a very, a not explicit movement there. And it gives a very big contrast between all the energy going open, 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 open and hold. Now we're showing a different set of skills. We are controlling our balance. We are controlling our momentum. We are controlling our timing, our tempo. We're stopping the rhythm. And then we come back up in pure strength. Now, again, the, the reason for that to be in the end of the sequence is because the body should be able to do that at the end of a movement. Crazy, 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 crazy hold. Control, control, control. I could have done the banana in the beginning, but it doesn't make the same sense. You almost finish as a, a beautiful part of the choreography, which is to go pa, 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 Whoa. Now I'm gonna do the whole thing with music. Try to read as I move. Try to read everything I just told you behind the sequence, okay? this potential of here, I'm directing there. So I'm bringing there, you see? Now you don't have to jump for beginners, but you're trying to place your foot in a position for the Melo de French. So let's go. Um. Evolve. Dois. Três. Quatro. Jumping more advanced. Cinco. Seis. Sete. Oito. 
9 Base Prepare on the side Same energy, the same energy Um Dois Três Quatro idea to learn the movement but it's just a preparation for something else so make sure there's space between your foot and your hand so you can really navigate around your arm and I'm gonna bring the back leg and lift and do a little turn now I want you to keep this leg bent so watch this top leg this is what we are not doing. We're not doing this. We're not doing that. We're doing this. Lift. And we're keeping that leg bent as I turn around. Okay, let's try. Hand out. E. Prepare. Make sure you turn out that hand and navigate, use your hip. progress with this is that we're building all this energy here and then we keep like a macaco you see we don't want the energy to go we don't want the energy to go other places we want the energy to go okay so now we're going to do that again but this hand is going to be up proper up, like I'm holding, look, I could not explain better, look at that, <laughs> oh god, yes, it's like I'm holding a tray, as I jump, I'm holding this tray here, all right, so, let's try, e. I'm standing up, hold the tray, Place the hand and now hold in for now. And genial. So, rasteira, step behind. Move the hand, hold in. Just a little hold in. We're just learning the movement, yeah? So, the first calling that we're going to do is going to be a very simple leg in front. Kind of stomach crunch idea, push up, uh, no, push up, what am I talking about? Abs <laughs> exercise, so the back is rounded, I'm holding there and I'm doing a small movement up and down, so small that I'm not really changing the posture of my bed, so I'm going, um, using my arms to help, that's fine, place your arms behind, three, four, keep your arm, your legs straight, cinco, point your feet, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, Come back up, bend, 
Go to queda de quatro. Then here we're gonna do it like a rasteira, going out, okay? Keep your foot on the floor, rasteira. Go as far as you can, going out this way. And then just change your hand. That's it, that simple. Close. Forward. Open, I can't go any longer, I cannot go anymore. That's my flexibility. Turn. Come back and close. Três. Push a little bit more if you can without letting this knee fall. So we hold that knee, use your hand here, lift your hip, lift your hip, and then go forward, come back, down, round, lift your hip, come back, round, two more of those, um, Nice. First position for our headstand, we're going to go arm wide, open from here, and we're going to kick, come back down. I am pushing against the floor, there's energy on my hands. Dois. When it gets too much, tres, you're going to take, come out, gets too much, come out. Keep pushing your hand against the floor, guys, as if you're trying to lift into a handstand. See? Six. Set. Eight. Nine. Tiptoes, push away from the floor. So now we go to the push up. Your head, your head must go beyond your fingertips. Um, wide arms. Dois. Três. Quatro. Cinco. Seis. Sete. Oito. and you just tip a little bit more strong on your fingertips as if you're trying to come up here just there second stage is here that's the bananera third stage is to come up with the legs this way and the fourth stage from here is to come up and push now if you're coming up and pushing this is what you're going to try to do that's totally fine it doesn't look right, does it? Looks a bit wrong, but that's fine. Yes? Coming up and closing. my rasteira, oh. look at this, drag the body, breathe, okay, so the sequence is, coporinha, meia lua de frente, rasteira, drag the body, jump, straight into bananeira, advance, come up. That's it. Let's learn it together. Ginga. Cocorinha. Meia lua de frente. Rasteira. Step back. Move your hand. You're trying to kick here. Feet together. One, two. Switch. Au position. Slowly, look. Push up, pushing up, and open, 
Change side. Do a U de cabeça. Yes, do a U de cabeça. Cocoinha. Um. Dois. Três. Push. Jump. A U. Pushing down. Just do a U. Beginners, ó. Advance. Come up. 